Hello everyone, it's Nicole here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to share all the highest that bought in the year of 2021. I did film some plant shopping videos with you guys, but you know, whenever I go plant shopping, I don't usually purchase plants. I just go there window shopping. Um, but I did collect some Hoyas this year. I usually purchase them off Facebook Marketplace or some local Facebook um, plant perch whenever I see some Hoyas that I really like and the price also good, I will go ahead and purchase them. Sometimes I will purchase one plant this month, but seven or eight plants a month after. So I want to show you all of them. And Hoya is so easy and so beginner friendly. They don't need very intense care and they're so forgiving. I don't know why I was not into Hoya uh, when I first collecting plants, which is about three, four years ago, but I really, really want more Hoyas now. The foliage is so pretty and the flowers, some of them are very, very fragrant. And yeah, I just love every single thing about Hoyas. Before we start, I want to mention that I'm active on both Instagram and Facebook. I post all the plenty content, behind the scene content there. And in the month of December, I post there every single day. If you want to see my plant collection or want to get to know me better, feel free to connect with me. If you want to watch more plant videos from me, please consider to subscribe. All right, let's jump into today's video content. Here is my plant room. Most of my plants stay here and my Hoyas are pretty much on this shelf. This is my south facing window, so they do get very intense or very strong sunlight. I bought quite a few Hoyas this year, so let me see which one I should start. Um, Let's start with this one. This is a very gorgeous Hoya. It is called the Hoya Camphorifolia. I got it as a three leaf cutting. So these three leaves back in July, I believe. So this one is new. And I really enjoyed that lime green color and the veining and the splash. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. And so this one is new. I put a little trellis here. This trellis is from Dollar Tree. It is a weave, but you know, trellis are so expensive. You have to pay like $3 for a small trellis. But this one is only $1, well actually 50 cents. When you purchase it from Dollar Tree, it comes with two pieces. So I just use a little bamboo stick to put it here. I think it works very well. The next one I want to talk about, Hoya Finesoniae. This is one of the most beautiful Finesoniae variety that I've seen. Look at that foliage. Oh my goodness, the veining. Oh, so gorgeous. This is Philae Sonia EPC 317. I got it in May, I believe. It was a two leaf cutting and it actually has grown a lot, but it got fungus infection back in November. So I had to chop a lot of leaves off and throw them away before the infection just gets everywhere. And there's a new leaf coming out. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for this plant to get bigger. The next plant I have is Hoya fungii. This plant is super gorgeous. Look at the leaf. Oh my goodness. The veining. Oh. I also got it as a two leaf cutting this summer and it has grown so much for me. Look at that. And then I put it on a trellis. Um, put it, put it here. It is looking great. This plant is very fussy. Can you guys tell? Oh, I love touching it. The front is not as fussy as the back. Um, let me see if I can find a good angle. Oh my gosh, look at that. 
it feels so good when you touch it. And I also got a Hoya Pachiclada. I know this is a very common Hoya, but I only got it for like $6.99 for this four inch pot. I think this is a very good deal and I didn't have a Pachiclada before. So I thought, yeah, let, let's try one. Look at this. Oh my gosh, so many new leaves are growing out. I'm so excited. And there's another new growth point. Focus. Yeah, right here. So pretty. The next one is Hoya Bordenii. Oh my gosh, look at that sunstress color. When this plant gets very sun stressed, all the leaves look super purple. So I'm still working on it. This leaf is looking pretty good. Oh my gosh. And the cool thing is look at the back of the foliage. It is also purple. I love it. It is so cool. I pay $30 for this plant. I think it's such a good deal and these two leaves this one and here they are the new leaves i got it in late september so i'm very happy with how much that it has grown the next plant we have is a hoya quaniana silver i love the leaves the color is so gorgeous so silvery and i really enjoy the splash on the foliage this plant was gifted to me about a month or two ago and it has grown a lot it's trailing right now and i believe there are two plants in one pot and i repotted it and i also bury one of the strings hopefully it will grow bushier for me <laughs> but i do plan to propagate it in spring or summer to make the whole pot fuller. This plant is the Hoya Multiflora. It is a heavy bloomer. When I first got it, it already has one tiny little peduncle and now we got two. The next one we have is this girl. This is the Hoya Mathilde. I got it in April or May of 2021. I first put it on the shelf here it is south facing so the leaves got pretty some bleach i really want the new leaves to look darker green because this is what Matthew's supposed to look like so i'm hoping that the new leaves will grow normal this is my other shelf it is by my west facing windows i have baby proof this area so my baby does not get into my plants all right Ooh. Um, i've been working on some higher cuttings lately so they're still in the box or in the containers the block bag so i will show you guys one by one all right this is the new tray of plant that i have okay this one might be hard to see this is Hoya Serpents. It is very, very tiny. I love the small leaves and it has so many bumps there and a little bit fuzzy. I really, really enjoy it. The mother plant has a lot of splash. I don't know if the cutting will carry the splash, so I will just hope for the best. And I only pay $8 for the strength of cutting. And then we have a Hoya Vitalinoid. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. So I got it as a one leaf cutting and when the roots were long enough, I put it in soil. I love the veining and this plant can get huge leaves. So I have really high hope on this. And then I got a very pretty SP black leaves epc 301 when the plant is in the perfect environment or gets some stress the new leaves will come out black and then turn green like this color so i'm very very excited um i also enjoy the splash on 
the foliage. Yeah, I got it as a cutting, one cutting, but there were two notes, so I cut it. So yeah, I got two cuttings in this pot. And I believe I paid like $25 for a lightly rooted cutting. And then we have a Hoya Verticillata Heart Shaped Leaves Splash. The leaf is so cute. Look at that splash. I also bought a different variety. This one is currently rooting in Lekka. This is the name. If you're curious, here is the variety. Okay, let's do a comparison. Both of them are very cute. They're just different. I really, really enjoy the round succulent leaves on these Hoyas. And this cutting has two notes, so hopefully there will be one leaf coming out here and one leaf coming out here. This is Hoya Bananasis. It has very pretty lime green color and the leaves are not as thick as this one. But I really enjoy it. I pay like 15 or $20 for this cutting. Um, it actually was one cutting, but it has two notes. So I chop it and root them. This is the next one. I really enjoy the lime green color and the veining. This one is Hoya Cressy Petiolata. When you look at the leaves in different angle, oh my gosh, just very, very gorgeous. There is a splash version. I would definitely collect that one. It's also very beautiful. This is the next one. It is due in a closed container. I got it as a unrooted cutting, so I'm trying to get it to root. You can see a lot of condensation on the foliage, but it's still doing okay. Um, I have not checked the status on this one yet. Um, I don't think it has rooted yet. And I also try not to pull it out too often because whenever you take the moss or whatever medium you put your Hoya in, it actually would disrupt the roots forming. So yeah, I try to do less and hopefully the roots will form sooner. Oh my gosh, I have to be very careful when I close this container. This is actually my baby's spoon container and I just thought, oh, this is the perfect size to use it as a propagation box. This is another one. I've been keeping it in this container, so the humidity is pretty high. I got it as a cutting, but when I receive it, it had some rot. So I basically have to cut the rotted parts and we root it. Um, I tried Lekka, I, it just didn't work so well, so I decided to put it in moss. I checked it a week ago and there are tiny woods forming, so I'm very excited. This is also very beautiful Fine Sonii. I do have more Hoyas propagating here, but they're not the new plants that I bought, so I'm going to skip these. If you watch my big box store plant shopping video, I talked about this plant. This is my Hoya Chelsea. I picked it up at Lowe's. It is super lush and I paid $20 for this. This is my Hoya Cutisei. I also got it from Lowe's. I really enjoy the splash, the silvery on the foliage and it's been an easy plant. It is a little bit light. I think I need to water it. <laughs> this is Hoya Lisa. I got it about two or three months ago. This is such a slow grower, but it's very gorgeous, especially when the new leaf comes out. It has very beautiful dark pink color and then faded to pretty creamy color. I love it. This is Hoya Rosita. I got it six months ago. To be honest, it doesn't grow at all. I am very disappointed. I don't know what's going on. Probably something wrong with the roots. I really need to find the time to remove the soil, just check the roots, make sure there's no rots. 
So because I have so many plants, it is very hard to keep the watering going. And sometimes I know if you keep your hoya to get dry out too long and then you water it again, the roots will get watered. So um, probably this is what happened to this hoya rosita. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Um, it is living. It is alive. And that's it. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell button to turn on all notifications so that you will not miss out any of my future videos. I'm also active on Instagram and Facebook, so feel free to connect with me there. All right, my, na my name is Nicole. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.